Hey everybody, Yellow Turtle here. I'm going to be walking you through the ins and outs of the Universal Profile browser extension today. Specifically, we're going to be reviewing the controllers of the Universal Profile. So first, let's go over to our browser extension here and we'll click on controllers. And as we can see here, we have three that are already preloaded with the Universal Profile once you create one. So we have the Up Browser extension, the Universal Profile receiver, and create and manage your universal profiles. So we're gonna go over to create and manage your universal profiles first. This can be seen as sort of a, a universal profile recovery controller, right? So as we go through these specific permissions for the controller, we can see that they're in different categories. So right here we have the profile data and sign. So these permissions in this category will allow you to update and change profile information such as your name, photo, and description, as well as adding arbitrary information to your profile by apps and signing any kind of data, including authentication messages. So like I said, create and manage your universal profiles. It can be synonymously called universal profile recovery. Because of this, you can see that we don't need to access our profile data or add or change anything to our universal profile. As we go down to the next category, we can see that the next one is account interactions and extensions. So this group of permissions allows interactions with other smart contracts, addresses, universal profiles, additional profile functionality. And as you can see here, this universal profile recovery controller does not need to access any new smart contracts or anything like that. So moving on to the last set of permissions, administration and ownership. Allow total control of your profile. Be careful which controllers have access to these permissions. So as you can see here, the only permission turned on for this controller is the ability to add other controllers. So you can add controllers to this account. So you can add different accounts for universal profile recovery. And you can kind of think of these permissions and these controllers like a discord role. You're only giving certain roles, certain permissions. And as a user, you will never have to edit your permissions for that role. That is something that would be handled on the admin side or on the team side, right? So you can think about these controllers in the same way. The Luxo team actually added these very primitive, simple controllers to the universal profile for the features like universal profile recovery. Then we go into the universal profile receiver where we can see that the only functions that it has is to update your profile data and re-entry, which is a little bit of a technical permission, but it essentially allows the universal profile to make a transaction simultaneously with another transaction. So we won't get too much into that, but it's just needed as a function for this universal profile receiver to work correctly. And then finally, the universal profile browser extension. This is where you're actually interacting with the universal profile. So you can see here, the universal profile browser extension has the ability to update your profile data, sign contracts, encrypt messages and decrypt messages, deploy new smart contracts, execute a relayer call to cover gas, and then edit permissions and add controllers. So this is really the interface where you're controlling your universal profile. And that's the reason why it has so many permissions compared to the other two controllers. And now if we go back out here, you really won't ever have to change or edit these three controllers. What will likely happen is as you interact with more and more D apps, they'll have custom controllers that you'll add to your universal profile and will be displayed in this controller section. And then you can edit and add permissions as you see fit. Most likely the necessary permissions to interact with that D app will already be preloaded into the controller. But say one day you're using a D app and you no longer want to use it and you no longer want to give it permission and have those controllers connected to your universal profile you could go in and you could deselect all of these permissions and then that controller would no longer have access to your universal profile. One thing that I would like to mention as well is if you go to the universal profile browser extension, it is extremely, extremely important that you do not deselect and save these two permissions because you essentially lose access to the universal profile because the universal profile no longer has 
the ability to edit permissions or add controllers in the browser extension. And that is the interface where you can actually interact with your universal profile. So that may sound a little confusing, a little redundant. It all boils down to for the universal profile browser extension controller, do not deselect these two permissions. You can play around with the other ones if you know what you're doing and you feel comfortable and you know what the uh, permissions are gonna do or change to that controller. But for the most part, you really don't have to interact with this side of your universal profile. It's a little bit more technical, but it's there for the user to essentially control how different platforms and apps interact with your universal profile, what they can access, what they can do. So it gives you a lot of flexibility with your universal profile. With that being said, I believe that covers everything that we wanted to cover today for the controllers. The other two tabs are pretty self-explanatory. It shows you where you've connected onto a site and the activity of your universal profile. I just wanted to hop on quickly and answer any questions for the community. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And stay tuned for more educational content from Pink Pill Productions. Thank you, guys.